Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. This video is the last video on definitions. This video will introduce eight rules for lexical definitions. Now here's a list of the eight rules. Rule number one. A lexical definition should have proper grammar. Now here is a definition with improper grammar. Notice it's not a proper sentence. Rule number two, a lexical definition should provide the essential meaning. Now here's an example that does not provide the essential meaning. It should be this way. This definition is better. Rule number three, a lexical definition should, be, should not be too broad or too narrow. Here's an example of a broad definition and a narrow definition. Now they should be this way. These definitions are better. Rule number four. A lexical definition should not be circular. Here's an example of a circular definition. Notice the definiendum is used as the definiens. It should be this way. This definition is better. Rule number five, a lexical definition should avoid being negative. Here's an example of a negative definition. It should be this way. This way is better. Rule number six, a lexical definition should not be obscure or vague. Here's an example of an obscure or vague definition. It should be this way. This definition is better. Rule seven, a lexical definition should not be effective. Here is an example of an effective definition. Notice the definition plays upon the emotions. It should be this way. This definition is better. Rule number eight, a lexical definition should provide the context. Now here's an example of a definition without proper context. It should be this way. This definition is better. All right, now let's work a few practice problems. I'll ask a question, you press pause, try to answer the question, and then press play again to see if you get the answer correct. Practice problem number one, why is this definition inadequate? Press pause, the answer will appear in three, two, one, ding. This definition fails to provide the essential meaning. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is too broad. It would allow dolphins and manatees. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is circular. The definiens use the definiendum. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is too narrow. It excludes cows, rabbits, etc. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition has bad grammar. Now, shy is not an event. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. This definition is vague. How much money is enough money? Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is unnecessarily negative. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is obscured by metaphorical language. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is effective. It evokes negative emotions. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is obscured by complicated language. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is effective. It plays upon the emotions. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition lacks context. In painting or swimming, what's the context? Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, Two, one, ding! This definition is obscured by complicated language. 
Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is circular. Now, weird should be defined in terms of itself. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition does not provide the essential meaning. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is too narrow. It is also too broad. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is needlessly negative. Human entails positive attributes. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is vague. It has no precise meaning. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is circular. Discerning is defined in its own terms. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition has bad grammar. The word like is out of place. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition provides no context. Is it chess or is it poker? Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is obscured by figurative language. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is needlessly negative and almost circular. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is obscured with ambiguity. Bond has many meanings. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is obscured with needlessly complicated language. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is too broad. There are many types of sailboats. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is vague. What exactly do criminals deserve? Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is effective. It's intended to elicit negative emotions. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition is obscured with metaphorical language. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition has bad grammar. Next practice problem. Why is this definition inadequate? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! This definition fails to provide the essential meaning. Congratulations! Now at this point, you should have no trouble constructing good lexical definitions. Great job! Also, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video and have a great day!